Welcome. In a previous video, I talked about how to back up a Mac to a QNAP NAS using Time Machine. And in that video, I talked about backing up where you have a single account. You could have multiple computers back up to that single account. But that would be fine for, say, like a small household or something. If you're at a business, you might want to have a separate account for each person. So in this video, I'm going to go over that procedure. I'll put a link in the description to my QNAP playlist where you can find the other video. I'll also put a link to the hardware I'm using. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So there's two options here. If a person has an account already set up on the QNAP, you can use that, or you can create a separate backup account. That's probably the more secure way. So I'll go to control panel here. I'll click on users. I'll click create user. I'll give it a name like Rick Backup. I'll give it a password. I'll click create. So here's the account we created. So if you have quota set up, you could set up a quota here so one person doesn't fill up the whole QNAP NAS. Next, I'll click on Shared Folders. I'll click Create, Create a Shared Folder. I'll give it a name. I'll call it QNAP TM Backup. It's going to be on the default volume. It says Configure Access Privilege for Users. I'll click Edit, and I'll choose the Brick Backup. It has read-write access to that. If I scroll down here to advanced settings, you'll see this set this folder as a time machine backup. I want to click that and then I'll click create. And this just tells us that the shared folders can be configured as content source folders. I'll click OK. So that's finished. I'll minimize this screen. I'll go in the finder on my Mac. I'll click on go and go connect to server. So under connect to server, I want to type smb colon slash slash the IP address of my QNAP and then the name of the share. And I chose QNAP TM backup. I'll click connect. I'll type Rick backup and then my password. I'll click connect. Now we're connected to the share. I'll open up system preferences. I'll click on time machine. And I have this show time machine and menu bar here. So I have it connected. I want to click on select disk. And you see this QNAP TM backup is here. I'll click on it. I want to click on encrypt backups and I'll click use disk. So now it's asking if I want to stop backing up to DS Time Machine and use QNAP TM backup instead. And I'm going to choose both. You can do one both. Um, I mean, you're likely, if you haven't set one up, you this will be your first one, so you won't have this. I'll click both. I'll type my password again. I'll click connect. It's asking for my backup password. So this is the password it uses to encrypt the backup. I'll click Encrypt Disk, and now we see the previous backup is still here, DS Time Machine, and then we have the new one, QNAP Time Machine Backup, and it says it's waiting to backup. So this will get started. This will take a long time to backup. I'm on wireless now. It probably would be a good idea to plug this into Ethernet for the initial backup. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.